EC in Trade Technical Webinar. Hi, my name is Rob Clayton. Well, the Australian dollar started off yesterday on a bearish run after breaking beneath 75.95 support, exposing the next level of 75.40. However, only getting to a low of 81, the market has staged a relatively, recover relatively good recovery. Um, now finding resistance around 76.41, Ahead of the firm resistance of 76.60, the market should stage a mild pullback now. A move beneath 75.90 would or should trigger a further decline. And if we get a break of 75.40, we'll give the corrective bear phrase towards a 74 cent objective. Now, beyond 76.60, Resistance would only get harder at 77.20 to 77.50, but at this stage, I feel that the market will hold around that 76.60 level. Well, the euro <clears throat> did start off quite negative yesterday, got down to the low of around 112.70, just in front of that support of 112.40, and staged a, an impressive rally. However, topping out rather quickly around 113.30. With an intraday bias coming back into a negative phase, I'm looking for a pullback towards 112.80 and then down towards 112.40. Now before I had a level of 111.65.75 as a trigger to the downside, this is now not the case. Around 112.40 is the level I'm looking for. And if we get a break beneath that level here of 112.40, then I expect to see the weakness down towards 109.50. Quite a big call, but that's the one I'm still holding. And it has been now for many weeks, as you can see here. And this is where I'm looking for. <clears throat> and the market pulled back. But this time I think the rejection of 113.60 is the key for the next move down. Well, another day, another dollar yen. <clears throat> still not breaking out of its range of 99.40 to 101.15. Currently with uh, four hours time frame in the chart, we can see that we're in a negative bias. So this would put pressure towards the downside on the morning. I'm not overly bearish, but nevertheless, towards 99.40 to 99.80, the bulls need to defend that level sharpish. Otherwise, a move under 99.40 will give an objective of 98.60. A sustained break above 101.15 would actually merit further demand and look towards two objectives, one being 101.75.85, which could extend towards the recent highs around 102.60. So really for the day, we really need to see which level breaks first. As I say, the intraday outlook is towards the downside. Well, Sterling, after falling heavily on Friday, recovers but slowly now the market will be looking at this level of 131.7080 and while intact still holds a bear view and look for a move towards the first support holding at 130.185 sorry 130.85 beneath 130.85 gives the next level of 130.20 and then lower down towards 129 to 128.45.55 in, although I don't, well, sorry, although I feel this level will hold around 131.7080, a firm break above this level would trigger a rally on towards an objective of 132.5 to 133.30.40 and reassess from there. Well, gold, no, no uh, new surprises for the overnight price action. Demand soon um, wanes towards that uh, 40 level and now dropping back. On the day, weakness is evident and should continue on towards the support holding at 13.33 with the key level holding just beneath at 13.28. Now a break beneath 13.28 would expose further weakness down towards the bullish fortress or platform around 1300 so keep an eye on that level today any renewed strength beyond 42 should find resistance around 1348
Excuse me there. Well, finally, we got that pullback in oil overnight after being overbought. From my view, yesterday I was looking for pullback to 47.25. Well, we're there, as you can see. If I just drop that price down, 47.40. And also being the low. Now, question is, will we continue to the downside? A break of 14.25 would confirm this and give it an objective towards $44 a barrel another three dollars off a firm rejection from 47.25 would give scope for a move up towards 48 but technically it does look concerning that we might break through 47.25 but let's wait and see if it occurs on the day as i say a rejection will give this move back to the upside well that's a wrap thank you very much for listening and i hope you enjoy the day ahead